Now, since 1831, the Grand River Academy in Austinburg has been educating young men from around the country. The dozens of students who attend right now witnessing history. That's because their headmaster hopes it inspires them as they move on to improve lives and build a better land. Hey guys, hello, hello. To hear Tony Tucker. Hey Will, how are you? Is to know. Good, perfect, yeah I heard about it. He's friendly. Absolutely. Caring. Pull the mask up. Okay. There we go. And engaging. You want to say hi to your parents? To see him. Very fortunate to have guys from all over the world like this. Is part of understanding. No one is really used to seeing this on a regular basis. He is. All is well. The exception. It's Friday. At a school like this. When we're talking about African Americans uh, who are heads of school, can we count that on two hands? One hand. Boarding school. Tony is the 12th head of school at Grand River Academy. Class is good. But he is the first one. There you go. Now you can be in it. Who is black. Opportunities like this don't always come about. His hands guide grades 8 through 12. I love getting people on campus to get here. This is picturesque and it's very welcoming, very comfortable. One must really know. He's a really cool guy. Where they're going. It's a 220 some acre bubble. The exclusive boarding school has been around since 1831. Tony arrived two years ago as director for enrollment. Almost like a parent figure, I guess, because he's like a really good role model. The headmaster is still following his role model. My elementary school principal, Mr. Reed, and Mr. Reed was a black, a black male, black man. Got any plans for this weekend? He just had a local audience. My audience is global. Here, there are 68 kids from 16 states and 13 countries. Black students make up about 7% of enrollment. This is the first place I, I came, the first place I came to when, when, I came, when I came from Africa. This is Kajelan Odur's second year. It's been an honor and a pleasure to be here. Student graduation is always followed by acceptance into a university. Many move on to Ivy League schools. For all students, there is one lesson Tony says must stick. I'm not rare. There's people who look like me that are more qualified than me. There's people who look like me that are probably better prepared and have better resumes to be able to get positions like these. Do you actually drink all that water every day? But the opportunity doesn't always present itself for people who look like me to be able to get into those positions. Anton, how you doing? But getting here required more than just him. Sometimes God helps you to get somewhere despite yourself. Tony. They lost, right? <laughs> is now the role model, his mentor once was. In many, many ways, this is a dream job. A role he spent a lifetime learning. Because it has allowed me to do my passion and to meet my passion. And one he will continue doing. I must. Okay, thanks, God. As he mentors those around him. It feels like I would do this without even getting paid for it because this is just what I love to do. Uh, Tony putting in work. By the way, we want to know who's fighting to build a better land in your community. So if you know a group or a person taking on systemic problems, holler at us. Let us know. Email us at abetterland at wews.com.